When you think about the hazards associated with trenching and excavation, your mind usually goes to cave-ins or striking underground utilities, right? Well, at least mine does. There are other elements to trenching and excavation safety that may be overlooked because they may not seem like an immediate threat or may not seem like a hazard that will result in a serious injury or death. One of those elements being providing safe means for access and egress. Hi, I'm Sergio with a &H Safety and in this video, we'll be covering the requirements for providing safe means of access and egress in trenching and excavation operations. Providing an employee with safe means of access and egress for trenches may not seem like a big deal or even a difficult requirement to follow. However, it is the second most frequently cited OSHA standard that pertains to trenching and excavation inspections. Access and egress means entry and exit, respectively. In trenching and excavation operations, they refer to the provision of safe means for employees to enter or exit a trench. To avoid fall injuries during normal entry and exit of a trench at your work site, ladders, stairways, or ramps are required. In some circumstances, when conditions in a trench or excavation become hazardous, survival may depend on how quickly you can climb out. OSHA requires a stairway, ladder, ramp, or other safe means of access or egress to be located in trenches that are four feet or more in depth, so as to require no more than 25 feet of lateral travel for employees to reach this device. If structural ramps are used as a means of access or egress, a competent person must design them. Now, if this ramp is used by vehicles, it must be designed by a person qualified in structural design. Structural ramps used in place of steps must have a non-slip surface and be provided with cleats or other surface treatments to the top surface to prevent slipping. Earthen ramps may be used as a means of access or egress only if a worker can walk them in an upright position and only if they have been evaluated and approved by a competent person. If you're using a ladder as a means of access or egress, be sure that the ladder is secure to prevent displacement, and it extends at least three feet past the landing surface or the trench box if you're using it for that purpose. Also, be sure to utilize the right type of ladder, typically an extension ladder of sufficient length and weight capacity. Leading a portable ladder that has been folded or closed against the side of a trench is a practice that is prohibited by most portable step ladder manufacturers and must be avoided unless the manufacturer states their step ladder is designed to do that. Check to ensure that the ladder you will be using is ready to support the maximum weight imposed by the worker, plus the weight of all his or her materials and tools that they will be carrying up and down the ladder. Ladders should be used only on a stable and level surface unless it is secured. Ladders placed in a location where they can be displaced by workplace activities or traffic shall be secured or barricades should be installed to keep those activities away from the ladder. Ladders must be used with caution around electrical lines, especially metal ladders. So it is the best practice to always use non-conductive ladders. Two or more ladders or a double cleated ladder should be provided where 25 or more employees will be conducting work in an excavation where ladders serve as a primary means of access or egress, or where ladders serve two-way traffic. Always remember to inspect your ladders for signs of damage or defects before each use. Damaged ladders should be removed from service and marked do not use until repaired. If it is not repairable, remove the ladder from the work area or destroy it to prevent someone from using it. Be sure that whatever device you are using for access and egress does not require an employee to be exposed to an unprotected portion of the trench. For example, if you are using a trench box throughout the trench and you are using the ladder as a means of access and egress, place the ladder within that trench box so that the worker is always protected from cave-ins. Stairways or stair system may also be used as a means of access or egress. These include job-made wood type stairways, manufactured portable stairways, or earth bench steps. Always ensure that the steps are clear of any obstructions and standard guardrail and stair rails are provided where there is a possibility of falling from the stairway. The decision to choose a ramp, stairway system, or ladder for accessing and regressing from an excavation or trench depends largely on the allowable slope or angle that the sides or ends are cut back. For example, in stable rock or with trench shields or boxes where the sides are nearly vertical or between 75 degrees and 90 degrees, a ladder will be appropriate. Ladders must never be used at angles less than 60 degrees. For trenches and excavations between 30 degrees and 50 degrees from the horizontal, use a stair system for access and egress. And for trenches and excavations less than 20 degrees from the horizontal, a ramp can be safely used while maintaining an upright position. You can use this as a guide for selecting the appropriate means of access and egress. If you apply all that we went over in this video to provide access and egress to your employees entering and exiting the trench, it can help keep them safe and keep your company free of the second most cited violation in trenching and excavation operations. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of what the requirements are regarding providing safe access and egress, along with the different options you can choose from to meet those requirements. If you have any questions or need assistance with your safety program, feel free to contact us using the information provided below. And we would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Do you work with trenching and excavations? What's your biggest challenge with selecting the appropriate access and egress? And lastly, follow us on all social media platforms to stay updated with our latest safety tips and tricks. And as always, until next time, be safe and thank you.